There's a lot of discussion about how residents in San Francisco are being displaced, how businesses are being displaced, and there's not as much discussion about how many nonprofits are being displaced. I think a general concern in the arts community is the continual loss of the number of performance spaces and venues. There's no rent control for commercial establishments. When your lease is up, you have to deal with whatever the market will bear in terms of rent. Every month there are nonprofits that are either shutting down or leaving the city because they can't afford to operate here. My name is Bill Hirsch. I'm the executive director of the AIDS Legal Referral Panel. ALRP provides legal services to people living with HIV and AIDS, and we have nine attorneys on staff who fight for our clients, mainly in the areas of housing, insurance, and immigration. In the last two years, we negotiated a lease that saw our rent more than double. My name is Tomas Riley. I'm the executive director of CounterPulse. We, for the last 10 years, have existed at Ninth and Mission. We were primarily known for our strategies in promoting and incubating risk-taking art, um, beginning primarily with dance, but moving into experimental and performance art. As our lease expired, our rent skyrocketed from $5,000 to about $10,000 a month. I'm Chad Jones, the Executive Director of the San Francisco Arts Education Project. Through all of the evolutions of the organization, the focus has always been on arts education between children and professional artists. And what we offer is a full range of uh, music in terms of rhythms and chorus, dance, theater, musical theater. But in the last few years especially, we found it becoming more and more difficult to find space for the programs uh, that we run. My name is Lex Leife. I'm the nonprofit business development manager for the Mayor's Office of Economic and Workforce Development. One of the reasons why the mayor has invested in nonprofit displacement is because of this challenge and because nonprofits often uh, can use some technical assistance to understand uh, the negotiation process for a commercial lease. My name is Rob Gitten. I'm the executive director and co-founder of At The Cross Crossroads. We created At The Crossroads in order to reach the most disconnected young people on the streets of San Francisco. So that means homeless youth and young adults who are not accessing traditional services or have been kicked out of them. Our building was sold and in 2015 they let us know that when our lease was up that they wouldn't be renewing it. For the past two years, the Northern California Community Loan Fund has assisted the city with the Nonprofit Displacement Mitigation Program. They've helped over 75 nonprofits um, receive financial assistance and receive technical assistance. Fortunately, the city has set aside some funds to assist nonprofits that are facing displacement and facing increased rents. For ALRP, what we were able to do was to get some relief in the form of a grant that helped us cover the increase in rent. Our rent had been around $40,000 a year, now it's about $87,000 a year, and we were able to get a grant that covered uh, about $22,000 of that. We came to the Minnesota Street Project through Deborah and Andy Rappaport, the two people who developed the Minnesota Street Project. They saved a prime corner space for a nonprofit organization, namely us, and it turned out the Northern California Community Loan Fund. They accepted us into their real estate readiness program to see if we could withstand the stress of paying monthly rent for the first time. And after the real estate readiness program was in full swing, they brought to our attention the Nonprofit Displacement Mitigation Fund and the grants that were being made there. And so we applied for that. We received a $100,000 grant and that grant allowed us to move in to this space, to finish the space as we needed it, to furnish it, to get it ready for classes. The building opened on schedule on March 18th, 2016 and by July we were teaching classes here. When we first found out that we were going to have to leave it was kind of overwhelming. We didn't know anything about commercial real estate and how you find a new space. We had suggested to us by a number of different people to look into the Nonprofit Displacement Mitigation Program. When you're part of that program, you have access to commercial real estate that's either city-owned or city-leased. And a city lease space 
became available. There is a $946,000 grant that's being provided through the Mayor's Office of Housing and Community Development, and that's gonna go toward building out the new space. It'll cover a little less than about half the cost, so it's a really critical piece of being able to move into this space. The premise of the Community Arts Stabilization Trust is to stabilize the arts ecosystem in San Francisco. Uh, we began working with local agencies like the Northern California Community Loan Fund, who helped advise us on our finances and uh, help us establish documentation of our long track record of financial success and stability. MCCLF was working with CAST to find the right partner, this, a stable arts organization of our size and budget. The opportunity was there with the purchase of the property we're sitting in now, which was the former Dollhouse Theater that had been acquired about uh, five to ten years ago. We get to operate under the terms of our former lease at Ninth and Mission and we won't receive a rent increase for the next five to seven years with an opportunity for a potential three-year extension. That means that we're renting this 10,000 square foot facility at about 50 cents a square foot um, for the next five to seven years as we pay off the balance of the purchase of the building and the cost of the renovation. LRP um, is fortunate in that we have built up a significant reserve over time so for our organization we wouldn't have had to reduce services. We would have found a way to uh, spend down some of our reserve to be able to continue services when we know our clients need them. The fund has been great. We were able to get relief when it was needed most. Chronicles was fortunate to arrive at this location um, at the time that we did. Working with the city in that regard has been almost seamless. Um, we've had tremendous support from the Office of Economic Workforce Development uh, and San Francisco Arts Commission and Grants for the Arts that have helped us uh, capture resources to renovate the facade of the building and complete the renovation inside the building. Um, without their support, I think this process would have been a lot bumpier. Our lease is for five years and then we have a five-year option, but the city has an 86-year lease on the space and they've made it clear to us that as long as we're in good standing and we continue to do the work in the way that we have been, that we should be able to stay there for decades and decades. Getting this space is the single most important thing to happen to our organization since we got money to start the organization. It is that meaningful to us. We've been here five months or so, and it's just even better than we could have imagined it. In terms of what's next, the mayor and the Office of Economic and Workforce Development have announced a six million dollar nonprofit sustainability initiative. If you're a nonprofit or you know of a nonprofit who is looking for more resources, they can go to the Office of Economic and Workforce Development's website, oewd.org slash nonprofits, and find out more about the mayor's nonprofit displacement mitigation program and the upcoming nonprofit sustainability initiative. They can also find their information for technical assistance, such as uh, how to get started with more fundraising or real estate assistance. And um, they can also find my contact information and reach out to me. I'm a single point of contact for resources in the city for nonprofits.